When you're trying to get to the top, it's easier to follow a path of people that have been successful. So there are books out there. There are stories of, of how, how to be able to get there. Um, so actually getting there is relatively easy, even though it's still extremely hard. Once you get there to try and uh, get to a, a new level that no one's ever performed at before, that's where the, the book has to be ripped up and, and start again. And I suppose the, the process that uh, I started to develop was, was we all know about personal bests and uh, that you sort of set yourself targets to, to, to get to, is that not everyone can be Olympic champion, not everyone can be the best in their field, but we all can be better than we are. We can all improve and look for our own personal best. And I think what really sums this up to me, it's a very old story, but a guy called John Nabber, who's an American swimmer, and uh, he competed at the Munich Games 1972. He was part of the American relay team in, in the swimming competition and helped that team qualify for the final, but didn't swim in the final himself. As he came out of those games, he thought, how can I get to the next level? I want to win that gold medal. I want to be part of, of that relay team in, in, in 76 in, in Montreal. And uh, so what he did is he actually looked back through the history books and saw a steady improvement and almost predict a time that he felt that he had to do to win that gold medal in, in four years' time in the individual event, not just the team event. And he predicted a time of 55.5 seconds. That's what he had to do. His discipline was the 100 metres backstroke. The problem was his personal best at that time was 59.5 seconds. He had to go four seconds quicker over 100 metres swimming on his back. He thought... I can't do that, that's impossible. So by setting himself these targets, sort of, of blew himself away that he couldn't achieve it. But then he sort of started thinking a little bit more laterally about it and thinking, well, I don't have to swim that time today, tomorrow, this year, I've got four years to do it. So that's a second improvement in every year. He trained for 10 months everywhere, that's one tenth of a second improvement in a month's training. 30 days roughly in a month, that's one three hundredth of a second improvement uh, in a day's training. He used to train for four hours a day, every day during that uh, uh, training period. So that's one twelfth hundredth of a second improvement. It takes an eye to blink five twelfth hundredths of a second. So he's looking for one fifth of an eye blink improvement in an hour's training. Now that's simple. There's something you're going to be able to find that's going to, able to make you go that, that, that a little bit quicker. Uh, the difficult thing is you've got to do that of every hour, of every day, of every month, of every year. Uh, obviously, the moral of the story is he did get to the Games. He was part of the relay team that took the gold medal and swam in that final. And he made the final of the individual event where he was racing two-time Olympic champion, world record holder, and, uh, and that, that sort of uh, process. And uh, took the gold medal in a time of 55.49 of a second.